Previously on McLeod's Daughters. You're not getting Kalani. He's going to Alex. He's yours. That's the way it works in Dad's head. Don't worry, it's okay. If he can rape once, he can do it again. You know, I believe everything Becky says. She's always making things up. Just don't be alone with him, huh? Ah, uh, I know what this is about. You want your job back. Well, you're not having it. I got the job. You left. So rack off. Jody, he raped me. Anything I do to him won't be enough. People know what you are. You're going to make a bigger fool of yourself over a harmless little rope behind the bar? Stop it! Who's up 14 away, 14, 13? My God, who's like that sad looking bunch? They're half dead. $15 to Claire McLeod. Thank you. 113 at 15. That's half my cash she's wasted. Thanks very much. Woohoo! But we bought those skinny sheep for peanuts. We just made like over four hundred percent profit in five months. All right, time to kick on. What's all that? Ah, oh, just a few things. Girls got to have a party dress for town. It's dinner, not a party. And I'm shouting. Oh well, in that case, we'll have spring rolls, dim sims, honey prawn. Well, actually, no, you won't, because the restaurant's closed. Charlie's wife's gone into labour. Oh. Bum. Yeah, but we have to celebrate. Well, that just leaves. What's wrong with the pub? The pub. Ladies. B.I. Reg. Fire Reg. Hey, Reg, can you look after these ladies when they made up their mind? You pull table, Brian. <laughs> You're looking for trouble. Uh, what about um karaoke? Maybe they've got a song about skinny sheep. Mm. Anything but the Spice Girls. You're not getting me up there. I've heard you sing in the shower. Jodie will help me. I'm singing in front of everyone. Oh, but I can't sing in public without my lippy. I'll be right back. Righto. Come on, Claire. <laughs> so just the one song? Seems a shame to disappoint your fans. Oh, leave them wanting more, that's the rule. So, um, here's to anorexic sheep. Mm -hmm. Anorexic sheep. Yeah, look, we've been down that path already, Dad. <laughs> yeah, 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 first class lambs at a good price, Dad, I know. Yeah, yeah, I, I asked around, Dad, no one knows who bought Wilgul. Shawnee. How are you doing? I'm in your kitchen, Ant. I 
I thought you'd gone back to school. Ah, this pays better. Met my apprentice? Teaching him everything I know. Mistake, Johnny. Yeah, yeah. You live a long way out of town, Becky. I'll look after him. Meg, got time. Hey, that champagne cold enough? Tess, while you're in there, see if Jodie's up for a Mariah Carey medley yet. Hey, Meg. Uh, Terry, you want a lemon squash? Oh, no, I'm right, thanks. I just want to see Meg about something. Yeah, sure, of course. You all right? Yeah. Seeing as how we're in town and all, make up for the time I stood you up. Ah. You even bought me champers. All yours. <laughs> I got my tea. Will I do the honours? Oh, later. It's not going anywhere, is it? doing something, just forget it, all right? Brian's doing it again. I knew it. What are we gonna do? Now, try the same again with skinny cows, make another fortune. Yeah, give them another bullet. <laughs> hey, Mick, welcome back. We weren't sure we were going to see you again. What are you talking about? Olivia, how was a business trip? Oh, same old, same old. You better have something to make Dad's day, You're spending chips, blowing a couple of valves. Someone bought Wilgul out from under it. I know. You know? We'll cough up, maybe we can make them an offer. I want twice what I paid for it, no deal. You? Wow. Congratulations. I'm going to move in, going to run it. Moving out on your own, huh? I suppose it had to happen. No, I'm just going to add to Dad's empire. That's all. He's going to love it. <laughs> he sure will. We just bought 4,000 acres. Give me a beer. Yeah, right, huh? I'll, um, give you a hand, Alex. This isn't just about Harry, is it? Needs a bit of work, Google. Dad thinks it's a part of Kalani. You can use his machinery. And power. Anything else I'll get my hand on. <laughs> You've got a real devious streak, Nick Ryan. I wonder where I get that from. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Should have bought Wilgo myself. It's 15 love to Nick for sure. Who's keeping score exactly? Dad's been hanging out for that place, Tess. <laughs> Not having Nick around, that'll make life real interesting. To Wiggle. To Wiggle. Now, why don't you two stay for dinner and make a double celebration? <coughs> Sounds good. One of us is going to have to stop drinking soon. <laughs> Got to drive home sometime tonight. We'll toss for it later. Hey, Nick, can I give you a tip? Skinny sheep. Trust me, you can't lose. Uh, lemonade, thanks. He has to be stopped. You have to go to the police, Kimmy. Tonight. Kimmy, you have to. Don't tell me what I have to do, Becky. Especially when you didn't have the guts to do it yourself. <laughs> Did you talk to her? What's going on? What are you doing? I'm going to put him out of action. You'll make everything worse, OK? It's my fault he's still doing it, Jody. Go to the cops yourself, okay? It is their job to stop him. Sean, drop the stuff and get out. 
fucking going. Give it a rest. There is heaps of trouble starting here. Oh, is this the older sister thing? Hey, someone's gonna look out. Why don't you take a break, kid? Go and get yourself a lemon squash. Thanks, Mr. Cronin. Trying to stuff up my staff arrangements now, eh? Save it for senior constable cook. <laughs> I don't think that'll be an option. <laughs> Same with Kimmy. <laughs> Nobody's gonna believe those lies. The people like me. Your brother likes me. Yeah, we'll find out. You know, Sean's been telling me lots of interesting things. Like how your parents make ends meet, for instance. <laughs> Cook will love that. Go right ahead. Yeah, hey. It's a shame your brother's so clumsy in the kitchen too, isn't it? Could do himself some real damage. Same story. Keep your mouth shut. He has to be reported. It's been months since I... I can't. It's too long. Women get scared. Cops understand. Becky shot him. Well, they understand that. Excuse me? I just wanted him to admit what he'd done. So you shot him? It was only in the leg. All right, well, that makes it OK, then. It doesn't matter anyway. He's threatened Shawnee if I talk. No, 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 Becky. Becky, Becky, Becky. You sprung him with Kimmy, right? Oh, look, I didn't see enough. All right, all right. So, um, we got to catch him at it again. Oh, gross. You can have that one. Not just one of us. All of us. Yep, we've got to back each other up. If we want to catch him with Kimmy, it'll be after hours. We'll have to stay here. No way. Claire doesn't want to hang around. Leave Claire to me. We're here for the night. We're going to nail this creep to the wall. Why should I waste good money on a room when I got a bed only two hours away? But that's two hours of party time, Claire. We're going to have a big night. I don't want to spend half of it driving home. Expensive couple of hours. Will you relax, please? Why don't you go sing some more karaoke and stop acting like you're 43? I didn't bring a change of clothes. Well, you saw my bag. I packed heaps. I have a skirt that is very, very you. Somehow I doubt that. I also have makeup. Look, I know it's a radical new concept. And but... who am I supposed to be impressing? Nick. Nick? Well, who else are you supposed to be marrying? If ever I do get married, it'll be to someone who likes me the way I am. You had fun at the sale yards, right? Now it's my turn to have fun. Please. Yeah, all right. Oh. <laughs> Hello? Me too. We should get Brian to bring something in. Oh, save your money. We'll go and get it. What's wrong with room service? Well, call me old fashioned. I don't want Brian to see us like this. Oh, it's all right. He's a top bloke. We should put an appearance anyway. Jodie will be wondering where I got to. <laughs> Next time, I'll bring provisions. <laughs> <laughs> that should do it. Can I look now? Yep. What do you think? Oh, yeah. It's okay, I guess. I reckon you look fantastic. Let's go. Oh, just give me a minute, will you? Boys are gonna die when they see you. Good. I could eat the side of a horse. Yeah. Oh, lovely, Jerry. What are you going to have, Joe? Oh, I'm not very hungry, huh? Two tea bones? <laughs> Guess that means you're lost for words. You look uh, beautiful. Thanks. Where do you see Claire? Runs in the family, huh? Well, you can say that. How about a dance, Tiger? 
Well, the others are waiting for dinner, so... Yeah, so work up an appetite. Alex! <laughs> Stuffed up here, Kimmy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You bit off the air tonight, love. Oh, no, that's right. It's easily fixed. Look, oh, I don't feel well. I'd better go home. Oh, if you cook, sure. I mean, Reg and I can hold the fort. You all right? all right? Can you let me know if you're okay for tomorrow? Uh, you can't go yet, Kimmy. What? Uh, well, because we're celebrating. You know, our big sale. Uh, we thought you might join us. Yeah, I can't. I'm sorry. Great. Now we're never going to get him. Get who? Long story. Get who? What happened to you? Oh, just wasn't me, that's all. Get who? Yeah, that's what I'd like to know. Brian. He's doing it again to Kimmy. We need evidence. We thought if we could catch him out Crazy? <laughs> who do you think you are, Charlie's Angel? <laughs> well, it's better than letting him get away with it. I thought we were having dinner. Hey, in a minute. She doesn't look any different. He makes me sick. Everyone thinks he's great. And I did too. We used to laugh and, and joke around. <laughs> he even let me do the banking. He trusted me. And I trusted him too. I told him things that I would never tell anybody. And then that night, after the rodeo, I just kept thinking, you're supposed to be my friend. And now Kimmy's going through the same thing too. I can't blame us for being crazy, Claire. We've got to try. So we go to the police. No, we've tried that. Well, we threatened Brian of going to the cops. Tried that. Okay, we shoot him then. <laughs> Don't tell me you've tried that too. What we need is proof. Now that Kimmy's gone, we need to catch him with someone else. Good plan. OK, so who's up for it? What, you mean use one of us? Sure. Well, um, I guess I could do yeah, it. Yeah, really? Never crack on a you. Why not? Um, because you're very respectable. Well, I suppose I should be flattered. It's never going to work. He knows we all hate his guts. Well, not all of us. Brian's still an old mate of mine. Or at least he thinks he is. Yeah, but leaving it drivers... And I've always made it clear I've never liked Becky much. Mum. No. She's right. Brian still has time for Meg. And he's already tried the sleaze act with me. What? When? He never said anything. Well, just because nothing happened. I let him down gently, but maybe this time... So how do I get to him? Brian likes to play protector. Any guys gave me trouble, Brian took care of them. And he'd want a hand with something, a little favour from me. Next came the free drink, something, I don't know, expensive. So once he's looked after you, asked you for help and offered you a drink, I know he's ready to make a move. Are 
Are you sure about this, Mum? Where you guys been? We're finished dinner. Girl talk? You want to share? Well, if I tell you, I'll have to kill you. To justice. To justice. 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 Sounds ominous. Well, I guess it must be my shout. Oh, no, I'll get him. It's fine, I can manage. No, 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 no. Sit, Terry. Yeah, right. Shawnee, what time do you knock off? When the kitchen shuts. Go now. What? I'll get the sack. You remember that time that I sat on you so you couldn't run off and go swimming in McLaren's waterhole? A week later, your friend Neil got caught on a snag. Yeah. He drowned. I'm sitting on you again, Shawnee. What's going on? Get out of here. not treating you right. Who's buying the drinks? Thought you lot at Feminist Farm like doing everything for yourselves. Oh, I'm quite happy to let a man look after me. Not like I haven't had other offers either. Not like you're interested as I recall. Sorry. I thought Terry and I still had something then. But things can change. Can't they? Guess so. Maybe a good scotch would help me feel better. Why not? Got a nice expensive one here for you. Six bucks, thanks, mate. Well, we got Ryan's to the left of us, Ryan's to the right. Sounds like a song, Claire. I'm sure I like it. Oh, it could be worse. If there wasn't any national park behind you, Dad would have bought that and you would have been completely surrounded. That's right. Hey, Jody, you're up next. What now? Uh, um, you start and I'll get Meg. I, I don't know what's taking us so long. Um, uh, no, Terry, wait. <laughs> um, we need to talk. You talk to me about what? I just want to say that, well, I like you now. Uh, I, I didn't before, but I do now. <laughs> Um, and, you know, I think you're really good for Mum. Did she tell you to say this? No, of course not. Well, if you're hinting at something, why don't you just come and spit it right out? No, I'm not. I I'm just saying that, well, I think you're really great. And, um, you know, I really think you and Mum belong together. <laughs> Are you saying that we should get married? What? I didn't think Meg wanted to. She, well, she didn't say anything. Has she changed her mind? I, I, I don't know. Right, you just changed everything. I, I better go and talk to her. Wait, Terry. You're... The thing is, I'm really scared to tell Terry it's over. He's got a real temper on him. Is he? Mm. If he takes it badly, it'd just be nice to know that there's someone else around. We need to talk. We need to. Yeah, yeah we we we, we got to talk. Terry. Seem to go alright. Yeah. Bloody idiot. It wasn't me. It's the second time. Well, you dropped yeah, me. Well, you pushed me. Don't start with me, mate. Brian, can I give you a hand? Yeah, I can no. see a pretty Thomas. short start. All under control, yeah. thanks, Mick. Yeah. Okay, yeah. fellas. Let's break it up. Yeah, once the topsoil's fixed, then I've sunk a new dam. Gonna start stocking. Gotta run a new breed. Right? That's good. They're llamas, Easter bunnies, a couple of bunyips, maybe. Sounds great, Nick. 
But you're never going to hit anything like that, Tess. You're standing all wrong. Come here. Oh, thanks, Alex. You got all the moves up here. It's all shout. Well, that's yours. I bought the last round. Nah, you owe me one from yesterday. It's not my fault you knocked it over. Mate, no, I saw it first. She's given me the honour. This could be your chance, Meg. Brian might come and rescue you. You always try and do this to me. Yeah, that's because I always get him. I'll keep your big flapper mouth shut. Look, she's not going to want you after I bust your nose, is she? Huh? Listen, Joel, give it a rest. All the local girls know about that rest of yours. <laughs> what sort of garbage is that? Well, that explains a lot. You loser. Yeah, come on now, boys. Come on. <laughs> she wasn't. What is Meg doing? She knows what those guys are like. Think. Ow! Oh, it wasn't oh, me. Oh, oh, you're a cop. Oh, you're right. Oh, nice. Now, Joel, don't call me. Oh, yeah, oh, I did. Oh, you. Oh, right? Oh, yeah. Nice. A swing you mug, huh? Come on, come on. Hey, look out. Hey, 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 who said anything about giving up? Oh, we're running out of ideas, Meg. Oh, listen to you bunch of losers. I'm gonna get something for this headache, and then I'll be at that bar again batting my eyelids at Brian. I haven't finished with him yet. What are we gonna do? We could start by getting out there and looking like you're having a good time. <laughs> Great. No, I'm serious. Come on, let's do it. No, you know, she'll probably have my go, huh? Yeah, absolutely. I think I saw Steven Spielberg order a mixed grill. How come you women always go to the loo together? Because we need someone to talk to. Mind your missus. Only because you lost the pool. And you also drink. Meg, can we talk now? Not now, Tim. I've got a headache. Hmm. So we're down to that old line now, are we? Come on, Joe, pick a song. Come on, Jodie. We'll be back Come on, soon. Jody. Come on, Jodie. Jody will be wondering where I am. You know, this whole stunt was so obvious. You really had me going, though, Mick. I'll give you that. Oh, no, I think you might have misunderstood. Glad I to get, are you? Oh. You know, you women, you treat me like dirt. It's not that easy. Got this all wrong. We've got 20 witnesses. You've been begging for it all night. Well done, Jade. <sighs> Thanks. Where's Mum? Oh, she went to get some pills for a headache, I think. But that was ages ago. Where's Brian? Come on, 
not again. He's in there. You better be all right. Don't be washed out. We have to catch him in it. Come on, you've been begging for it. Have a little kiss. Leave me alone. Give us a little. Oh. wouldn't she be? What are you doing here, Brian? She invited me in. That's not the version I'll be giving to the police. Oh, I bet it isn't. We're having a chat. You turn around, you need me. That's assault. Cut out the lies. Look, what two adults do in private is none of your damn business. You forgot the word consenting, Brian, and I sure as hell didn't consent. Me either. And neither did Kimmy. Look, you're all friends of hers. The cops will know you set me up to protect her. She's a liar and a thief. And she shot me for God's sake. You lied, Becky! Becky. You got nothing on me. Look, maybe he's right. Let's do it anyway. Yeah, look, I'll go to cook. You can back me up. No. I don't want you to say anything. Thanks. You guys have been great, but it's my turn. Are you sure? Sure. Ladies and gentlemen. Can I have your attention, please? Can you listen up? I know it's going to be a bit of a shock to you, but uh, as you know, my old mum hasn't been getting any better over the last couple of weeks, so uh, Kath and I are going to have to pull up stumps for a while. We're going to have to move over to Fisher to, uh, to look after her. Why don't you just tell the truth for once, Brian? Thanks for that, Claire. Yeah, the fact is, um, my old mum, she hasn't got too long to go. So, uh, we're gonna have to lease the pub. Probably have to sell it. But either way, I'm not gonna be around, so, uh, the beers are on me, okay? No way of saying thanks to you. Good on you. Can you finish off, please, Reg? Give them what they want. He's leaving. We've run him out of town, haven't we? He's still free to do it again. Okay, Mum. Are you sure he didn't hurt you? I'm fine. Honest. Can't believe how brave you were. <laughs> Can't believe how stupid I was. Don't put me off again, Meg. We've got to talk. Can we get out of here? Sure. Hey, what was all that about before? Oh, you heard him? It's Mum's crook. You girls have had a cracker up your bum all night. What's going on? Maybe we can help. Not this time. Thanks. Um, I'm just going to go and get some fresh air. You're right, Tim. It's all right, I got it all figured out. Yeah. Hmm. We're going to town next week and we'll pick out a ring. You know, I can't afford anything too fancy. A ring? What are you talking about? Well, getting married, of course. I just wish that I you had. Get a... married? Who gave you that idea? What? I wasn't. I. I, I thought. Forget it. Why men such bastards? I don't know, love. Just are. I can't, Becky. We have to. Otherwise, he's going to keep doing it to the next girl and the girl after that. What if Joe Cook doesn't believe us? If we do this together, he will. I promise. Every 
here. Thank you. It doesn't have to be a big drama, you know. Look, if anyone's giving you grief, just tell me who it is and I'll punch their lights out. You really are the original macho man, aren't you? And what's so wrong about wanting to look after a beautiful woman? Nothing. You really are beautiful, Tess. Is this a line? Get away. I'm a macho man. I can't string two words together, right? Is it that hard to take a compliment? No. <laughs> Thank you. You sure you're OK? Yeah. Tess, can I tell you something? Sure. I'm freezing to death. I want my jacket back. <laughs> the jacket is mine. Some chips? No. So you got big plans for Wilville? Yeah, I'm thinking of trying some cattle crossbreeding. What are you gonna match up? Uh, Claire, I'm gonna head off now, so. You thought we m I might uh, stay the night as well, so we could. Yeah, I'll, I'll get my own room. Some chips or not? Yeah, you get a couple of bags. Right. Well, here we are. Are you sure you're okay about this? Alex reckons Murray Grays and Herefords are a good match. Huh? Stupid idiot. He just likes the look of them. I mean, no real advantage there. He's got no idea. You know, I want more than that, Claire. I'm not mucking around here. I'm in this for the long haul. Yeah? Absolutely. Breeding quarter horses mm. out of blaze. Belgian blues, right? Popular breed. Mm. But I don't reckon big muscly bulls are always the way to go either. Try telling everyone else that. What about what about temperament? Mm -hmm. you know, adaptability, you know, intelligence. Oh no, but what does everyone go for? Looks and fertility every time. <sighs> so much for spending the night and just talking. <laughs> I told you it never happens. <laughs> yeah, but we didn't even try. You couldn't. You can't keep your hands off me. That is so not true. What's your little land doing now? I'm uh, practicing my cattle assessment technique. <laughs> You'd say anything about an argument. No, I'm serious. I've learned a lot in six months. Oh, that's a bit good. First thing you look for is um, fat thickness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then muscle tone. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good? Mm -hmm. yeah, away. What about the butt shape school? You so made that up. I thought you said you'd learn a lot. And you forgot all about <laughs> checking for good curvature. <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd leave that up to you. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that was Morning. Morning. <laughs> Uh-oh, Alex. How's your head? Oh. Well, considering. <laughs> a few questions and we'll take it from there. Well, I'll give you 15 minutes, then I'm gone. Might not be as simple as that. 
그런 이유에. I'm finding my way. 